one proof that your mother-in-law has pride. (laughs) Amen. Number one, do you look down on those who are less educated, less affluent, less refined, or less successful than yourself? Number two, do you think of yourself as more spiritual than your spouse or people in your church? Do you think of yourself as the most spiritual person you know? Now, I will say, uh, I, Eve, uh, uh, some of us are more spiritual than our spouse. Number three, do you have a judgmental spirit? We're talking about your sister here. Now, we're not talking about you. We're not talking about your spouse. We're talking about your sister. Number four, are you quick to find fault with others and to verbalize those thoughts with other people? Are you quick to judge people and talk about people? Spirit of pride. It's a spirit of pride. Number five, if you have any of these, just type it, type the number in the comments of how many you have. <laughs> do you have a sharp, critical tongue? Number six, do you frequently correct or criticize your spouse, your pastor, other people in leadership, teachers, youth director? Pe- do you frequently correct or criticize? Number seven, do you give undue time, undue attention, and effort to your physical appearance? Your hair, your makeup, your clothes, your body weight, body shape. Number eight, are you proud of the schedule you keep, how disciplined you are, how much you're able to accomplish? Number nine, are you driven to receive approval, praise, or acceptance from others? Number 10, are you argumentative? My husband ain't on here yet, ain't he? Oh, amen. He ain't on here yet. Amen. Amen. Number 11. Do you generally think your way is the right way, the only way, and the best way? I'm going to just fix that right now. Wait. That one will not make it into the next broadcast that I do on that right there. Nope. Number 12. Do you have a touchy, sensitive spirit? Easily offended. Get your feelings hurt easily. Would people say they have to walk on eggshells around you? Number 13, pay attention, Justin, pay attention. Are you guilty of pretense, trying to leave a better impression of yourself than is really true? 14, do you have a hard time admitting when you are wrong? What? No. Number 15, do you have a hard time confessing your sin? Number 16, do you have a hard time sharing your real spiritual needs and struggles with others? That's pride. 17, do you have a hard time praying aloud with others? That's pride. 18, are you excessively shy? Number 19, do you have a hard time reaching out and being friendly to people you don't know at church? Number 20, do you resent being asked or expected to serve your family, your parents, other people, your church? Do you resent being asked to serve? 21, This is a good one. Do you become defensive when you are criticized or corrected? Number 22, are you a perfectionist? Number 23, do you tend to be controlling of your spouse? 24, do you frequently interrupt people when they are speaking? Number 25, does your husband feel intimidated by your spirituality? Well, mine does. Amen. 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 (laughs) We're going to circle that one. Amen. Yeah, he feels very intimidated. (laughs) Number 26. Does your husband feel like he can never measure up to your expectations of what it means to be a good husband, spiritual leader, etc.? 27. Do you often complain? I just said this Tuesday morning to our group of leaders. Do you often complain about the weather? Listen. Because they all came in complaining about the weather. And I'm like, but we don't have alligators. And we don't have crocodiles. And you've never seen an anaconda. You've never went outside in a snowstorm in minus 20 and seen an anaconda. 28. Do you talk about yourself too much? 29. Are you more concerned about your problems, your needs, your burdens than others' concerns? Number 30. Do you worry about what others think of you? Too concerned about your reputation or your family's reputation. Number 31, do you neglect to express gratitude for the little things? To God, 
to your spouse? Did your spouse do something, just even a little thing? Did your kid do just a little thing and you didn't express gratitude for it? 32, do you neglect prayer and taking in the word of God? 33, do you get hurt if your accomplishments or acts of service are not recognized or rewarded? Number 34, do you get hurt if your feelings or opinions are not considered when your spouse or your boss is making a decision and you're not informed when a change or decision is made? Ouch. I I, I do that. 35, do you react to rules? Do you have a hard time being told what to do? 36, are you self-conscious because of your lack of education or natural beauty? That's why I got freckles on TikTok. 37, do you avoid participating in certain events for fear of being embarrassed or looking foolish? Number 38, do you avoid being around certain people because you feel inferior compared to them? You feel like you don't measure up. 39, Are you uncomfortable inviting people to your home because you don't think it's nice enough or you can't afford to do lavish entertaining? Number 40, is it hard for you to let others know when you need help? I'm talking about spiritual help, physical help, emotional help, and and whatever the other one is. Do you have a hard time telling people I need help? 41, when's the last time you said these words to a family, family member, friend, coworker? When's the last time you said this? I was wrong. wrong. Wait a minute. I was wrong? Wait, is that right? I was wrong. Would you please forgive, forgive? Would you please forgive me? I told y'all we were going to get free today. (laughs) Now, what do I do about it? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Here's what you can do about it. If you have a spirit of pride, here's what you do. Number one, acknowledge pride as sin. Number two, seek humility. Number three, examine your heart. Number four, repentant. Number five, depend on God. Number six, prayer and humility. Number seven, serve others. Number eight, practice forgiveness. Number nine, study scripture. Number 10, accountability. Number 11, Listen, listen, listen. Be a good listener. 12, practice gratitude. Number 13, avoid comparison. 14, stay teachable. Number 15, remember your dependence. Number 16, cultivate a heart of gratitude. Number 17, seek the kingdom of God first. Number 18, we made it all the way to the end. Practice self-control. Remember that overcoming pride is a lifelong journey. This pride is not something that you're going to just take my 41 checklist. You're going to say pride come up and out, although I'm going to pray for you in just a second if you stayed on. It's a daily, it's a daily weekly thing. You have to constantly stay on top of that sneaky spirit tries to creep his way in back in your life all the time but you got to apply these biblical principles i've given you and that will help you to keep pride out of your life so just lift your hands that's international sign of surrender i pray for you all over the world this means i surrender i surrender so father i thank you that a spirit of pride is coming up and out of every person watching this broadcast spirit of pride you got to go you cannot stay in jesus name pride is not of my father it is of the devil and it has to go in jesus name so father i surrender my will to your will right now today. Pride will not have a part of my life in any way, in any form, in any fashion. I will not be a prideful person. And Father, I give you permission right now. We give you permission to reveal to us when pride is showing its ugly face in our life. I give you permission to, Father, to just show me. 
Show me, hey, that was pride. Okay, thank you. I repent of that. We all right now repent of pride in our life. And we move forward from this day, from this day, we move forward without pride in our life. Now, if you prayed that prayer, if you received that prayer from me, you could say in Jesus' name, you could say, so be it unto me. And then that prayer is included for you. We pray to the Father in Jesus' name. So we believe that pride has left our body and now you got to walk it out you got to walk it out amen 